Hey everyone, it's the first of our, it, or well not the first, it is the last of our Steam X, of my Steam Expo, Expo vlogs. Um, it's been a good day, it's been a little bit more of a toned down day, yesterday was a lot more hairy, and for that I'm glad that it's been a little bit less running, jumping, screaming, changing in bathrooms, chaos. But at the same time it's sad because it is the last day. And I'll miss it. I'll miss having an ex having an excuse to dress up like this. I mean, obviously, again, I try to incorporate steampunk into my day-to-day -day life as much as possible, give or take, but usually that takes the form of jewelry, which is a lot easier. Certainly, I can't dress like this every day, but I do my best. I incorporate what I can. We all do. And who knows, maybe there will come a day when it's more available to me. The point being, I saw Ebony Park. They were do they were great. They were spectacular. I need to buy their new album because there were some songs there that I didn't recognize and I somehow suspect is on that new album, which I've just been lazy about. Um, they were hilarious. There were a couple of times that things went wrong for whatever reason. They just made a huge joke out of it. You almost wanted them to screw up more because it was so funny. Let's see. Aside from them, I didn't do a heck of a lot, I mentioned that. It was more of a meet and greet kind of day. A lot of me walking around, a lot of me having people take my picture. My god, there is a lot of that. Apparently, I'm there's a picture of me up somewhere. I need to find it because part of me is just like, that's... I just want to know what people are looking at. I want to know what outfit they're seeing. I, it's, it's odd, but there you go. And aside from those two things, there was... Repo. And of course, everything boils down to repo. Ironic. I mean, but true. And the irony was, the real irony, I don't know why I used irony before, it was incorrect again. Ooh, bad me. But, ironically enough, the disorganization, which up till that point had been such a pain in the ass, finally actually turned out to be really useful for a change. The fact was that there I noticed from the get go that they had on the um that they had on the program that there was going to be a repo shadow cast. However it didn't mention a name. Which is weird because almost all the shadow casts that I've heard about, I've this is the first one that well, I'll tell you uh, more on the actual my part of the shadow cast later. But all the shadow casts I've heard about have distinctive have distinctive names and often hilarious names to some degree, or certainly very very clever. And that sent some alarm bells going off in my head. But I said, eh, never know. Maybe it's just you know it's an amateur one. Maybe they're just getting started. Maybe only the big groups have names. Well, my uh, my suspicions proved to be correct. There was no shadow cast. They are, they were just going to show repo. And here's where that disorganization paid off because what the what was the option was made for anyone who wanted to to go up and you know perform whatever scene they wanted. So th there were um, there were some people, or actually two people, who were prepped from the get go. Um, we had a grave robber and a Shiloh from the start. On the other hand, basically nobody else was you know flat out prepared. So what wound up happening was that. Again, people just perform, and I wound up performing Chromagia, which is one of Blind Mag, which is Blind Mag's um, swan song, shall we say, before she gouges her eyes out. The irony is that, again, I use irony a lot. In this case, again, it's true. I'm using it right, I think. But the, it, had I known that I was going to be playing Blind Mag today, I would have brought along, because I have them, some finger guards to mine gouging my own eyes out. But of course, that's Murphy's Law. And Murphy's Law does not like to behave. That's the whole point. So, I sang Cromagia. I genuinely gave it my best. I don't know how... I don't sound anything... I'm, I'm no great singer, and mo for the most part I'm tone deaf, but the fact was that I was able to... The volume is high enough that no one notices how you sound for the most part. And I would say I did a good job. Obviously, some people congratulated me, so I presume that I did. 
which is interesting because the fact is that while I know the words to, I don't so much know the words to Cremaggia, I know the sounds because Cremaggia is a song that's either I'm pretty sure it's in Italian, so that or it's in Latin. I'm pretty sure Italian again. And while I know some Latin, I know primary, I know almost nothing of Italian, and therefore I'm basically I know the song as a grouping of sounds and consonants and vowels, and so I'm just trying to string these together in cohesive words, which is always interesting. But it turned out well. Um, other than that, it's just, it's been good. It's been a fine, and because I'm not going to be there tomorrow, obviously, I've got to get down to the nitty gritty of getting ready to intern at a museum, which will be very fun. So, let me see. Oh, clothing. This is today's outfit. We fit, which we have, let's see, I'm trying to center wrong direction, there we go. Oh, of course it allows skirt. Skirt has bustling in the back, it's hard to see, let me see if I can get a profile. Think like Mrs. Lovett for those of you who know I'm just going to do a 360. I noticed I didn't do that when I was um, wearing the blue dress, but for which I'm sorry. The skirt is from the Gallery Serpentine, the blouse is from Newport News, the corset is handmade by myself. And also, you can't see it because it's tiny, but appropriately enough, I'm wearing the Repo Man Scalpel, one of the ones made by Rock Love Jewelry. It's also carrying, interestingly enough, something that, for those of you who know and love dear Nathan Wallace, something that, a modified version of what he carries on occasion. Big old doctor bag. Thought it was only appropriate. There's gonna be a Repo, I'm bringing the Get along something that you never know. <laughs> you never know what that thing carried. And how I got a hold of it is nobody's business other than mine. <laughs> oh, the stories I could tell. But, yes. So, it's been good. I will hopefully be making more vlogs now that I've got more time. For you gentlemen who, I was, it was one of the, um, fan mail type things that I've gotten, or requests, has been that I do more gentlemen's clothing. And to that I respond that I'm trying, I'm doing my best, I'm a little bit limited, obviously, by gender and by um, the fact that, in it being that I'm dressing like a Victorian woman, a lot of the time there's not a lot of leeway to dress, you know, to um, dress with pants. There are exceptions, admittedly. When I show you pictures of what I was wearing earlier in the day on Saturday, you can see how you how I managed to incorporate trousers, but even those are very girly pants. Though I would point out that I will do my best, and also that almost every shop that I review is to some degree unisex. They do usually have men's clothing in some form or another. It may only be a coat or two, but it is there. Certainly Sock Dreams has a fair number of men's socks. Don't be put off by all the garters and so forth. They, they've got socks for you guys out there, too. So, that's it for now. I'll be reviewing Clockworks and Corsets sooner or later. Probably pretty much sooner, now that I've got a lot of time. And if y I would say, also, if you aren't already, go follow me on Twitter. Go look at my blog. There is a link to my blog in on my um on my channel page go do it go tell your friends and family or maybe not your family if your family they wouldn't be the type to like me but go have a blast see you next time and ta